Everybody knows that too much sugar can seriously damage your body, but chances are that you're still overdosing on it. Surveys show that Americans have about 270 calories of sugar on a daily basis, and that means some 17 teaspoons a day. This is the equivalent of circa 12 teaspoons per day, or 200 calories. Unfortunately, sugar does not only encourage weight gain because things are more complex than that. It's an overall effect that your whole body feels, and almost every single part of your system suffers the consequences. Therefore, the damages can be felt not only on a short term, but also on a long term. UC San Francisco made public the results from one of their studies, which showed how drinking sugary drinks like soda represents another bad habit, as it encourages the body's premature aging on a cellular level, and it can be compared with how cigarettes affect you. It's a well-known fact that too much of the sweet stuff can hurt, but what are the actual effects on your body when you choose to indulge on it? Here's how some of your organs are affected from too much sugar. The brain. When you eat too much sugar, your brain is pressured to produce more of the feel-good chemical known as dopamine, and this explains why you're more prone to crave a bar of chocolate at 3 p.m. instead of a carrot or an apple. Since whole foods like fruits and vegetables cannot make the brain produce more of the dopamine hormone, you'll feel the need to provide your brain with more sugar so that it can have the same feeling of pleasure. This leads to those gotta have it feelings for those tempting after dinner ice cream, and it's really difficult to back off from them. The liver. The organ is crucial in the process of creating fat by using fructose. In the process known as lipogenesis, when you choose to indulge in sugar, you're basically encouraging the buildup of fat globules that can lead to non-alcoholic liver illness, the pancreas. This organ is responsible with plumbing out insulin when you eat. Too much sugar will cause your body to stop reacting properly to insulin because your pancreas will start pumping out more and more of this peptide hormone. In time, as you overwork this organ, it will eventually break down, causing really high blood sugar levels. As a consequence, you'll be set up for type 2 diabetes and heart disease. The heart. Your heart can suffer as well from too much sugar intake because the high insulin levels in your blood will determine the smooth muscle cells around the artery walls to grow faster and faster. This means that your blood pressure will go up and will eventually cause heart disease. The kidneys. Diabetes can seriously damage the kidneys as well. These organs play a key role in filtering the blood so high blood sugar levels will determine these organs to release excessive amounts of sugar into your urine. If you don't properly deal with diabetes, your kidneys might stop filtering the waste from your blood, and so kidney failure is bound to happen. The skin. When you eat too much sugar, it will attach to proteins in the bloodstream, and the harmful molecules that it creates, known as AGEs, or advanced glycation end products, can visibly affect the way your derma looks. In fact, as their name tells, these molecules take part in the premature aging of your skin. Studies have shown that they're responsible with damaging the collagen and elastin in the skin. And these are crucial as the protein fibers that maintain your derma firm and youthful. The effects of too much sugar, wrinkles, and saggy skin. What we need to understand is that sugar acts like cocaine in terms of how it affects the brain. When you eat sugar, you're creating a surge of feel-good brain chemicals, such as dopamine, serotonin. This also happens when using certain drugs like cocaine. Similar to a drug, the body starts craving more and more after having the initial high. As Gina Sam, the director of the Gastrointestinal Motility Center at the Mount Sinai Hospital, explains, you are bound to become addicted to that good feeling. And every time you'll eat it, you'll want even more. In addition to this, sugar is found in many of the foods that you might not even think of. Therefore, if you're preparing to cut back on your sugar intake, the simple act of reading the nutritional labels should be a good way to start. Yet, understand that there is no right standard amount of sugar that you should be consuming. It all depends on your body's needs, which are unique.